quick tutorial for beginners on the basic skeletal structure of an HTML5 document. Okay, first things first is you want to open a parent folder or create a new parent folder. On a Mac, they might pop up on title. How do you fix that? You just highlight the folder and then click on the name and then you can edit it. I'll call this new website. Alright, boom. Move that over here because I like things to be out of my way when I'm working. Next thing is I'm going to open my text editor. I use Text Wrangler because that's what I was taught in school, but there's a whole variety of different text editors you can use if you just do a quick Google search. Alright, so what's the first thing you want to do? First thing you're going to do is declare the type of document you're creating. Now in HTML5 you do that by typing doc type and then HTML. And if you see the doc type is all capital, HTML is lowercase. In most cases in HTML the, the it is not case sensitive, but in this particular instance it is case sensitive and this must be uppercase. Next, you're going to open the HTML document. Okay, now in HTML, tag, most tags have opening and closing tags. And it's good practice to open and then close before you enter your content inside. This way, you don't end up with any open tags and your document knows exactly where it's supposed to do. Now the first thing you're going to have in your document is, of course, the head. Now what goes in the head? And lots of things go in the head. There's styling factors that go in the head, links to CSS, um, the title, and also the type of language you're going to speak. So the type of language you're speaking for this document is going to be meta, this is a tag, and then charset equals in capital letters UTF-8. Now UTF-8 is almost like it tells the document the type of language it's speaking. It's a key. Um, we'll go more into char sets later on, but for today, just that's all you need to type, and it tells the HTML document that it's speaking UTF-8, basically. And next, we're going to have the title. And I'm going to call this Cool Site. All right? You can call your site whatever you like. In fact, I encourage you to play around, but how does the title affect the look of your site? I'll show you that in just a second. But after you have that in the head, Next piece, is it the neck? No. It's the body. What goes in the body? Pretty much all your content. All of the nuts and bolts, the paragraphs, the headings, the articles, the sidebars, everything you have, the navigation, will go in the body. For today's purposes, we're just going to have a heading. Now, HTML5 has six different types of headings. H1 is the largest, H6 is the smallest. Today, we'll just do H1, do new website. And next, I'm going to show you how to take a look at what it looks like on your browser. Okay, the first thing you do is, once you have the basic skeletal structure, is you save it. So I'm going to save this document as index because that is the common practice for all web pages, is the home page should be indexed. So like the home page is called index.html, or it's kind of like the root of your website. Okay, so now you bring this over here and you've got this little index guy. I'm just going to drop this into my parent uh, folder right here. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to open my Safari browser and I've got this blank page. Now, all I have to do is open my parent website, grab the particular file I want to look at, and drag it into the URL. And boom, look at that. The heading right here, H1, is showing and cool site right here that is the title. So let's say we change the title. We'll call it um, this site right here. And we're going to say file, save. Go over here and all you have to do to see the change is hit refresh and boom, the title changes. So the title in your head section goes right up here on the internet. Excuse me, on your browser. And then heading, let's add a paragraph so that we Let's say we know what this is about. So I'm going to call this, this is a new website built by me. And then close the paragraph and file save. And refresh. And boom, your new paragraph shows up. This has just been a brief overview of how to start a website in the basic structure. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I hope this helps and have a great day. Happy coding.